Okay. Uh, why don't we pray? And then we'll get started, right? Okay. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this time, Lord. And um, we just want to thank you for all the wisdom, Lord, uh, that is in your word, the riches of um, grace that you poured out upon us, Lord. And Father, we especially want to thank you for this uh, final semester and uh, this course. And um, Lord, we pray that it'll it'll be a season of uh, great equipping and impartation, God. And Master, we commit ourselves into your mighty hands, God. And I just pray uh, your blessing upon each and every person in this class. And I pray for your wisdom, for your leading. And um, yes, Lord, for your guidance, God, even as we go through this course. We thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so uh, this course is uh, is a DIY, do-it-yourself course. <laughs> so I'm just here to facilitate, right? So it's an independent research uh, paper. So as your as a, as a term suggests, so it's an uh, it's a research paper, uh, which means um, each one of you get an opportunity to to study to do a research on any topic that you decide. Okay, on any topic that you that you want to do a research on, you want to do a study on. So I'll just get into the details of it, uh, of what kind of topics that you can do, uh, et cetera, in a bit. But but um, at the outset, this is what it is, right? It's a, so it's a, it's a research, which means that you study, you find out about this particular, whatever topic. So the topic is something that you come out with, right? You play, you read through, you, you think about it, and then you you say, okay, this is something that I want to study for the next, um, we are at the end of Jan, so for the next two months, February, March, this is what I want to study, this is what um, I want to uh, do a research on, and then finally, you know, there's going to be a presentation uh, of it as well. So let me just go through uh, the scope of this subject, okay? Um, let me just um, present that. Okay. okay, can you see? Yeah, okay. So this is what it is. Um, so the objective of the course um, is to do an independent research um, so what is it for? It is to explore a, a original idea, thought, topic, uh, a study, and to present the findings okay, in the form of a report and a presentation. So when we're talking about in-person students and also online students, we're talking about um, you know a presentation in real time, right? When we have a class and then you present it in class, um, you do the presentation. If you're an online student, you present it online uh, in real time. Okay. So, so what about the topic? Let's look at that. Now, the topic can be uh, any topic in the Word of God. It can be um, any issue, political issue, social issue, religious issue, right? Uh, any new thought, any innovation, uh, anything. But it has to have some relevance to the Word of God. Okay, so some something something that you draw from the Word of God, some reference to the Word of God, um, where you say, okay, this is this is what I see, this is what the issue is in the world, but this is what the Word of God says. So it's something on those lines. Okay, so it can be a Bible topic, it can be a you know something to do with doctrine, it can be something um, to do with the uh, with the social, political, um, you know, religious uh, issue. It can be any. So so the scope is vast. Okay, so you can choose. Now it needs to have a biblical perspective. Okay, so that's the thing, right? So it's a research topic, and it needs to have a biblical perspective, which means that you're referring to the Word of God, you're actively, you know, uh, quoting and stating this is what the Word of God says, and this is the biblical uh, perspective uh, of this particular topic. Okay, like for example, you know, if you're talking about okay, gay rights movement, and you're doing a 
you know study on that you 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 will be you know presenting the biblical perspective and saying okay this is what it is okay um so some 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 things to keep in mind is that it should not be any current or past topic which was taught in the bc taught in during the course um, you know so which means that maybe first year you looked at identity you know in christ so um, so don't choose that or you know something on the prophetic something on faith don't choose that unless it's very 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 different from what was taught okay so um, so you in the course of it you know we will we will discuss it okay so it can be a research it can be a survey it can be a research it can be a study of this particular topic your independent study of the topic and uh, you can present that as well but it, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that it should not be your you know whatever you're studying right now um, it should not be something that you studied earlier uh, in the in the bible college okay so that narrows down uh, a lot of things and uh, so yeah okay so um okay so here's a timeline okay so here's a timeline so you can <clears throat> so you can finalize a topic and submit a one page summary of your topic okay so that is by the 1st of february which is uh, which is next thursday okay so um, just a page of what your topic is what is the research work that you want to do okay so you take this week think about it um, and then you can you can just you know write a one page summary and then uh, submit it okay then uh, we'll discuss it in in next in the next class we will discuss it whether the topic is okay but uh, so which means that you need to submit the topic okay so we'll just look at it <coughs> excuse me so we we'll look at it and then see okay is this something that we can go ahead with or do you need to tweak it a little bit do you need to refine uh, the topic a little bit okay so we'll uh, we'll do that in the next class okay then um on the 29th of february okay so we're talking about the end of next month february um i've mentioned the time everything just check the india time uh, whatever is mentioned there is india time right the uh, 9 a.m um you submit a draft of the paper with the current status of work done so one month you worked on it um whatever uh, so you present a draft <clears throat> what is the status of work what have you been doing what are your findings um you know uh, so you present uh, you you just submit that okay that, those these are the submissions okay then <clears throat> the final draft of the research paper which means you've put together everything this is the this is the uh, this is the report okay so this is the research report and that needs to be submitted on the 4th of april on or before 9 a.m uh, Thursday, 4th of April. So it has, you know, some word uh, limits and so on. So it's 25 pages, maximum of 30 pages. Okay, so this is the timeline here. Okay, so you, know, you can go over it and it's already uploaded in the classwork section. So you can check that out. Okay, okay the project report, the format, there is this format called the Modern Language Association format. Okay, so when we say format, we're talking about font size, we're talking about how the paragraph should be, we're talking about what the line spacing should be, you know, uh, you know, if, you, if there are quotations, how should they be mentioned? Uh, if there are images and tables in the report, you know, how should they be, etc. Right. So uh, I've also given you the link. So you can check that link. It, it is very thorough. It's pretty good. Uh, so you can go through that. And uh, also you might find some you know, and, and chat GPT and everything, you might find some, uh, you know, where they actually convert it to MLA format, right? You, you write the entire report and it can, so that is also there. But I will also, you know, when we get to that, um, the writing stage, I will also uh, upload a, um, a template, right? Just to help, uh, help you with that. Okay. So that's about the report. Okay. Uh, I've, I've, you know, if you noticed, I've just said not applicable because it's, it's not a certain things are only for a physical report, right? The choice of paper, uh, binding, etc. So it's not applicable for us because you're going to be giving a, you know, it's a it's a it's a soft copy, right? Okay. 
Then uh, we talk about the presentation. So for in-person and online students, the presentation happens in real time, as I said, um, on these days, right? 4th, 11th, and 18th of April. Okay, so it's a 10-minute presentation with a PowerPoint um, uh, presentation. So you take 10 minutes to present. So I think about 15 people are there and listed in this course. Uh, we should be able to finish on three days, 4th, 11th, and 18th. Okay. For the e-learning students, if you're watching this video, um, you need to record and upload a 10-minute video of your presentation. Okay. Um, the, the, the title and everything, you have to put it on the, you know, all these mentioned here, the topic um, and also the draft, etc. You can put it on the discussion, right? Now you can just put it on the discussion. Uh, this is um, also a 10-minute video. Uh, you shoot a video, the the description or the instructions for how to shoot a video, you know, in landscape mode, not on portrait mode, all that is mentioned there. So e-learning students kindly go through this. And if you have any doubts, you can post it on the discussion page and I'll get back to you on this, right? So uh, it's a 10-minute video and you upload it on your own Google Drive and you submit the link. You send me the link or you put it, you paste the link basically on the discussion page and uh, make it accessible you know many people actually post the link and um, are not able to open it right so you make it accessible maybe uh, on on the sharing section when you you know you make sure that i have editing rights so that i can access it i can watch the video okay okay so this is to be done on or before thursday the 11th of april so that's the last date for uploading of videos and sharing the link beyond which um, it won't be taken into consideration for um, the assessment right okay so that's the timeline for uh, for this um, okay okay now let's um, Talk about the topic. Actually, I, uh, um, you know, if you look at the classwork section, I have also posted a link. Um, this is for the e-learn. I'm sorry. This is for the online and in-person class. Um, I posted a link uh, for the Google Sheet where you can enter the uh, topics. Right. So you can. It says research topics. It says submissions under submissions. Uh, maybe I can present that also. Let me share that screen. Um, okay, where do I go? Um, okay, this is it. Okay, can you see uh, what I'm seeing? The classwork section? Okay, yeah, okay. So, submissions, so research topics. Um, so, you can go to that sheet can you see the google sheet yeah so student name research topic and the description brief one line about it right so you can just go there and enter it okay i'm sure there must be many questions so <laughs> so yeah and do you have any questions uh, maybe it's about the nature of topic. Um, yeah, we could talk about that. Any questions? Um, yeah, uh, before we uh, take the questions, if you notice, there's also in the resource section, uh, in the classwork section, sorry, and under course materials, there's also um, you know a book, an ebook. Um, it's a PDF, sorry, uh, a guide for writing research papers. So if if any of you have not never done a research paper, this is a useful material to go through. And it's a guide for writing research papers, you know, how you should start off, etc. Um, yeah, OK. OK, any questions? Any interesting topics? Even as I was saying, you know, do you have any topics in mind that you want to Oh, you've been just dying to do a research on. Yeah, Divya, go ahead, please. Uh. Uh, thank you, Pastor. I had a question, actually, uh, regarding um, the 29th of Feb. 
uh, mm -hmm. the one page summary of the topic uh, topic uh, yeah. what all should be included in that uh, well, it's, it's a very uh, informal listing you know it's a, it's a listing of the topic let's say i'm i'm doing a study on um, on leadership okay for example and if i'm doing a study on leadership and i'm specifically doing a study on servant leadership so uh, i would say you know i i would i would have written the topic there of course in that google sheet and i will say okay uh, i'm going to do a study on uh, student leader i'm sorry servant leadership and uh, this is the scope of it you know i want to do a uh, i want to study uh, the life of pastor so and so and uh, you know in his in his life and ministry you know how does he uh, for example okay so nobody please pick this something like this but uh, you know uh, so i'm just going to be saying that okay now this is how i'm going to go about doing the research i'm going to um, you know study this book that i've found i'm going to do a study on it uh, i'm going to maybe you know interview this person and uh, find out about how he uh, you know emulated this style of leadership uh, i'm also going to be um, you know writing about uh, with the, the impact of it in the church and also uh, some of the challenges um, in implementing this style of leadership something of that sort right so we can talk about it so it doesn't have to be a you know a watertight document it's just for us just for you to have an idea okay this is these are some things that i want to be doing in this topic and uh, when we discuss it in class you know when we go over it uh, i'm sure you'll have more ideas you can actually you know uh, expand that right so that's about it yeah basically like uh, a sh uh, like a abstract plan of the like an abstract plan yeah but it's it's not really uh, that formal uh, mm -hmm. just to yeah help us get started with the thought process and uh, also for me to get an idea okay this is where you're coming from this is what you oh. want to do yeah okay yeah. and uh, i had one more question uh, regarding uh, like when you say research, is it like uh, uh, you're trying to uh, like come to a conclusion based on certain observations, something like that, a hypothesis, and you're trying to bring in uh, uh, like yeah. So it depends on the yeah. It depends on the topic. Now let's say you know I'm doing a uh, I'm doing a study on women ministers in in um, for example, I'm just saying, okay, I'm doing a study on women ministers in uh, Kalyan Nagar in Bangalore, okay, the women ministers. And uh, so I'm going to be doing a study on them, how they started, how they're seeing the kind of acceptance in the church um, and how they're doing, uh, what kind of resistance they are facing in the church, their own families, their pastors, etc. So if, if this research is going to be of that nature, then, you know, there will be a... Uh, a survey done there will be an observation and uh, there will be an you know uh, there will be a hypothesis right and then you you share your findings you and then you share your your own thoughts and say okay this is what it is and you can you present a conclusion basically. so it depends on the uh, the direction uh, or what the nature of the research is right so otherwise if you're just going to be doing a study on a certain character in the Bible uh, and you're going to be you know uh, talking about certain traits of uh, that you can um, assimilate and use in ministry or certain areas of ministry then of course it won't necessarily be uh, it, it will be findings of course but not of this nature right so you get my point yeah 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 yes so Thank that's you. the thing yeah yeah okay Okay. Um, others, do you have any doubts? So, so like you see, you know, it it involves um, um, it involves a lot of work, and uh, and right from day one, right? So, um, so like you might think, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, you know, in April. <laughs> uh, but then suddenly you realize that there's a lot of work to be done, you know. Um, so, and also, uh, I, I would like to say that, you know, when you choose your topic, 
or choose the research uh, research topic, just think about the scope of the research. Okay, let's say for example, we are saying, um, um, yeah, Abu Bakr, uh, I'll just come to you in a minute. So if you're saying like, you know, what is the future of technology in the church? Okay. So if you're, or, or if you're saying, what is the techn current uh, technology being used in ministry in today's church? Okay. So that's the topic. But if you look at the wordings, you know, you're saying today's church, so which means you're talking about the church, the global church, right? So you see the scope, you're talking about, you're thinking about countries, you're think, th talking about, you know, uh, urban centers, you're talking about villages, you're talking about town cities. So when you say church, it involves all that, right? And definitely two months is not, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not possible to do that. So the scope of the research should be taking into consideration the time that you have. Okay. So even if you say, okay, the church in India, and it sounds nice, but you know, you, you think of the so many states and because you can't say something as a fact without having done the research. Right. Um, so of course there are there is there are there's enough and more material online and you know books and so on, but you need to be willing to go through it and then come to a you know conclusion. Right. So whatever you're presenting, it needs to have a basis. Right. You're saying, okay, this is how it is. It can't be based on feeling. It has to be based on hard facts that you have researched and found, and uh, it has to be based on some readings, etc. Okay, yeah, Abu Bakr, uh, you raise your hand. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Please, I want to ask, after switching our uh, topic, and the topic uh, is accepted, it's accepted. Uh, so I want to ask, you said the word of the, the word that we are, we, the school is expecting is between 300 and 250 and 300 words of the project. Then, so is it based on chapter? What are we going to write in chapter one, chapter two, or how many chapters are we going to write? Yeah. So that is the question. Yeah. So, so I would suggest that you go through that format, the research format, the format of the report. You know, it's called the Modern Language Association MLA format. So go through that. So it can be, you know, it can be divided. The report can be divided into chapters and and so on. So this, you have that flexibility. You can do that. But I would say you go through the format so that you get an idea, the MLA format. So you get an idea. Is that okay? Yes, Pastor. Yeah, OK. You. Uh, you might have further questions, and you can ask. OK. So Rosalind has said, uh, we'll need some assistance to know what and how exactly I should do it. OK, so Rosalind, go through that uh, book, uh, the PDF, which has been uploaded. Uh, and then um, you know that will give you an idea how to go about a research, how to you know come to the topic, how to find out, uh, I mean, how to um, what kind of topic should you take up, uh, et cetera. And uh, so it will give you an idea. Uh, and then you can uh, go. And then you can come back. As to um, you know, you you kind of um, you know uh, decide on a topic, and we'll discuss more. Okay, so how and uh, how to go about it? So because each topic, um, when you choose a particular topic, you know the way to go about the research for that particular uh, you know uh, topic or that that scope, everything differs, right? So so once you decide on the topic, then we'll we'll discuss how to go about it. So that we will discuss in class. OK. Um, OK, Jafina. Mm. OK, OK. Yeah, grading system. OK, I, I haven't put that out, but I'll put that. So the research report and the presentation will be the, the final grading. So the presentation will carry a certain percentage of marks. Which could, which could be um, like normally it's like seventy five percent for the report and then twenty five percent, but I just want to change it this time. Uh, maybe the presentation also should carry a little more weightage. So so it'll be around that much, you know, like a 60, 40, 70, 30 kind of thing. So so your report report matters, but also your presentation. Yeah. 
No, no, no. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, Jeffina's question is: Should we give a choice of you know, two, three options, or should we give one? You know, just uh, use zero in on one. Okay, so use zero in on one. But maybe you have something in mind, uh, and then let's let's you know let's go through the uh, validity of whatever topic that you've decided. Okay, validity meaning okay, is it possible to do it in two months? And then we'll see if we can refine that, or if you have something else in mind. You know, even as we're discussing, you think you feel that okay, it's not. Uh, we can't do it in two months. You know, maybe maybe I have something else. You know, can I try this? Right? Then we can talk about that also. Yeah. Okay. Um. Any questions from Ribi, Zelitoli? Um, who are the others? Sir, uh, research topic uh, means it is related to uh, leadership or ministry or uh, church planting, or will take the inside the story uh, inside the topic uh, of Bible. Yeah, so like I uh, shared earlier, Ruby. So it it is it has to be uh, a to it, it can be anything. Uh, you know, uh, sky is the limit, so it can be anything. So it, uh, some suggestions are to help you. Some guidelines are. It, it can. It needs to be a topic which has to have a biblical perspective, which means you draw from the Word of God in order to validate certain things. You know, whether to say for or against or support that topic. Um, it can be something to do with the Bible itself, right? Uh, it can be something uh, uh, about. Maybe a character in the Bible. Um, maybe it, it can be about some doctrine. It can be about some doctrine that is there, prevalent in today's church, which you maybe feel is not scriptural, right? It can be a research on the kind of evangelism that is there in in the place where you are, right? Maybe in the town or you know the village. Or city, whatever, the kind of uh, evangelism that is being done by maybe certain churches, uh, and then you know the impact of it. Uh, you know, so it can be anything, right? Thank you. But, yeah. So the, the only thing to keep in mind is not to repeat something that you already studied. Okay. So uh, if it's something that has been already covered in the in the previous semesters you know in all these five semesters if it's already been covered then don't do that uh, so that's the only uh, thing but when you when you when you kind of kind of um, you know upload the topic then we will know right so I, I can tell you whether to go ahead with it or not and how to refine that topic we can talk about that yeah yes thank you sir sure Uh, Leah, Lama, Anita, any questions? Paul, um, Shubhashish, anything? So the, the thing is, uh, so the first milestone for us is the topic. So you think about it, think through it, and say, OK, this is something that I want to, I want to study on, I want to find out about. Uh, so it's it's. Research is all about finding out, right? You find out more information. You want to do a survey to find out about the status of things. You know, uh, maybe you feel that okay, uh, the church is lukewarm. So, so when you say you know, um, the the spiritual, uh, maybe you want to do a study on the spiritual climate of the church. Or so when you say church, you need to define that. Okay, the church in uh, the city. Okay, so when you when you say church in the city, that is also a big thing, right? You might have some thousands of churches in your city, right? So, are you going to do a survey of uh, all the thousand churches or, or whatever in number of churches, or are you going to pick a church? You know, are you going to say urban church, rural church, or the church in you know down the in the, in the neighborhood, you know, where you could have some four or five churches? So you need to you know. So the scope, that's why I'm just repeating that. The scope of research is very important. Right? Like Shubhash, yeah, choosing the topic is very challenging, but also interesting. And uh, once you choose it, uh, you can put all your energy behind it and focus and go for it. Yeah? OK. So, um, so that's why we have the Google Sheet, so that there's no duplication. 
right? So we can suggest some changes. Um, I, I don't think we've ever faced any duplication of research topics, you know, so far, because each person's perspective and what they want to do has been so very different. Uh, so there's been no duplication. Um, okay, Rosalind has a question. Can parenthood be taken as a topic? Okay, so parenthood. So what do you want to do about parenthood? What do you want to research on parenthood, Rosalind? Like from the children's perspective and also from the parents' perspective, the challenges, both okay. the sides. Parents also facing a lot of challenges regarding, uh, uh, in, you know, with, with this, and even the children have their own uh, their own mindset, like right. uh, when dealing with the uh, with the parent. Like, so. Okay, okay. So, so when you say parenthood, challenges of parenthood. So we need to define um, challenges in what area? Okay, that's one thing that you can think of. The other thing is also. Uh, what age group age group are you talking about right so so your topic needs to define that you know challenges of maybe four year olds five year olds um, faced by you know by parents in raising a four year and five year olds and and in what situation you know are they in um, are, are you talking specifically about a particular school environment um you know about some things that are being taught there and therefore parenting is a problem uh, is a challenge uh, maybe some things you know the un unscriptural you know things are taught or you know is that or is it something like peer pressure right that you are dealing with um, or it could be you know a, a list of these things peer pressure identity uh, you know the content the syllabus of the school okay uh, or are you talking about Teens or teenagers, uh, and then going, then going through a season of, um, you know, maybe a rebellious season as they are trying to discover their own identity and so on. So, is it about that? Right. So, you see, parenthood can be many things. So, you need to think about. Okay, it's a good thing. Like, right? you know, parenting, good. Uh, challenges in parenting, good. But what age group? And what kind of challenges do you want to specifically address? Okay, so once you've done that, okay, let's say you've zeroed in. Okay, this is the age group. These are the challenges. Uh, maybe something to do with social media. Maybe something to you know. These are the challenges. Then you also need to find out. You know, is it uh, in your city? Is it in you know? Because you can't say generally parents parenting. You can, but you need to find out that information, right? Is this something that is happening globally? And you know, because parenting in in an Indian context, um, maybe in a South Indian context, could be very different from parenting in a in a Western context, right? Um, so, so you need to think through all that. Right? So, what is applicable here? You know, can't you know uh, the research that you do? You know, it 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 won't be in a applicable in a maybe a southeast asian context right people living in china or japan or you know uh, singapore you know it may not be relevant or it, it may not be true of even people uh, you know in the uk or us or so so we need to define that so that needs to be the topic the title has to define that saying okay the, the challenges of parents of Six-year-olds, ten-year-olds faced in a place like, you know, Bangalore, or wherever you're from, and then also, you know, you need to find out the information. You know, maybe have interviews with parents, or maybe you're talking about only Christian parents, or maybe you're talking about, you know, a certain, uh, you know, certain uh, demograph of parents. Like when you say demograph, you're talking about okay. Uh, education uh, qualification financial you know stay um, position all that you know so that gives you accuracy to do the research right otherwise it'd be a very general statement it may not be accurate so you need to think through that was that helpful yeah oh yeah Pastor, because as you said uh, it has 
to also be biblical it has to have biblical perspective so yeah. mostly like um i was thinking about uh, challenges of a christian mm. parent mm. yeah so in today's world so you need to you need to kind of find a fine tune to say where okay and because that can be the findings uh, that can uh, from that you can actually get the challenges and then present the biblical perspective saying this is what the word of god says okay? and this is how we can and so you can you know conclude with some suggestions your original ideas your thoughts about how parenting can be made more effective you know uh, in the methods and you can also you know think about okay uh, some parenting and maybe uh, parenting styles of uh, well known maybe people in your own community and people in your own neighborhoods you know you know that they have uh, it's a proven thing that they have done it well so you can maybe even have interviews with them or questionnaires from them uh, uh, and then they respond to that and then you can you know put that together yeah thank you best yeah okay yeah Pastor, praise the Lord. Can you uh, praise the Lord, Lyndon. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Uh, I've thought of a, a topic, but let me know if if I can proceed with it. Okay, so it's it's church differences across denominations, uh, addressing topics such as uh, traditional, cultural, basic understanding of the Bible, differences amongst doctrines, denominations, and how can we come in union as uh, one body in Christ? So, will that be good enough? Yeah. So, you, you, so your intention is to find out what is it that divides the church across denominations, right? And also, you're going to suggest uh, something to remedy that. Is that oh. yeah, in a simple way? Okay. So it'd be good to uh, if you you know uh, if, you, if your scope includes uh, you know a study of some churches. See, obviously, you won't be able to study all. If you can study all within two months, that's great. But if you at least, uh, sorry to interrupt, Pastor. So, yeah, so ahead, the, the, uh, the immediate uh, denomination that would strike my mind would be the, the independent churches, which would be the, the Pentecostal churches, the Roman Catholics, uh, you know, the, the, the church, uh, the, the Protestant churches that includes the Lutheran and the uh, uh, the, the, the Church of South India and uh, mm. some of the uh, Orthodox and Methodist Church practices, okay. and and I'm pretty much I will be uh, targeting the the differences, the contrasting uh, redundancies, and how that could hamper or delay the revival, mm. or how that could impact the harvest. Right, and what okay. could be done uh, so okay. that we could act as one body, which could be pleasing. Uh, God's eyes, yeah. Okay, so when you do that, see, you 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 actually listed a few, right? CSI, uh, uh, some of the Protestant churches uh, would be, you know, CSI would be part of that. Then the Roman Catholic Church, which is a you know again a, a huge uh, uh, denomination. Then uh, independent churches. Now independent churches come in various colors, flavors, you know, <laughs> sizes. So uh, so you just need to kind of describe what is it uh, that you're going to look at and also um, you know when you're looking at these different denominations and everything you will also you know you, you'll you'll obviously have to go into uh, the doctrine the statement of faith the leadership style the structure of the church like the way the structure church is structured and uh, and and also avoid stereotyping you know the assemblies of god church in the city could be very very different from the assemblies of god church in the in the rural area you know from what i've seen you know the csi church in the city could be very very different from the csi church in the in a village you know which will be uh, actually i've seen that it's leading more towards the charismatic and there's you know there's a lot of fire so so yeah so we just need to so it'll be good if you can say okay is it in the city or is it in a particular area or is it in a particular you know in your city um so that will be easier and uh you know given the time frame you can actually 
you know, study them. You can present hard facts, data, and you can say, okay, in the Roman Catholic Church, these are the parishes. In the CSI Church, you know, these are the these are the whatever ten churches that you looked at. The independent uh, uh, denominations; these are the ones that we looked at. And the assemblies of God, this is what we looked at. So you could, you know, you could actually do a uh, yeah, if you if you localized to a particular geographical location, then it'll be easier for you to do it. Uh, that's my suggestion. But if you want to do it, um, you know, otherwise that's you're free and yeah, absolutely okay. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. If the topic is good, I'll, I'll continue with it. Yeah. Thank you. Very yeah. Much. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Anyone else? Any other questions? So our um, yeah, so our classes we we may not have class every week, right? Um, so what we'll what we'll do is um, you know initial weeks we will have of course you know till we get a, a, our topics in and also till we get the work started and also research methods for each of these you know different topics and so on. So till we get that sorted. We'll meet, and then and then we may not necessarily meet every week, but we'll. I'll announce it if we are going to skip a few weeks. I'll put it, uh, uh, you know, in advance, so you know you can plan your time and you can start doing the work, right? And then, um, yeah, and then we'll meet for discussions, fine-tuning things, whatever clarifications. Um, and like we, you know, discuss these things. I'm sure, you know, when we discuss the topic and the methodology with one person. And the one student in the class, and the others can also. I mean, I'm sure you know it kind of helps you, what you need to do, what you should not, etc. So uh, that will be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so if there are no further questions, I think we can wind up. Okay. Any any thoughts, questions? Um, about the timeline, about the topic, anything at all? Yeah, if you have questions, just feel free to post it on the stream, right? You can put it on the stream, uh, and then uh, I'll also take a look at it. And you can also email you know, jayakma.isaiah at apcbiblecollege.org. Um, so I'll get that as well. Yeah. Uh, E-learning students, of course, you can post it on your discussion, and I will check it. Right. Okay, shall we wrap up? Yeah, if there are no further questions. Okay, thank you, and uh, all the very best. Uh, I look forward to your topics. I look forward to the entire process. And um, in the past, it's been a great uh, learning. You know, very interesting to see the, I mean, to hear the different topics and then the findings and. So I'm sure it will be the same uh, for you as well. Yeah? OK. okay. All the very best. Um, we'll stop here. God bless. Thank you, Pastor.